Welcome back everyone, I'm the Forever Finalist, Josh Dunkerley, and today we'll be going over how to do leather on these couple of pieces here, his, uh, his gun pouch and the sword piece. So what you're going to want to start with is uh, XV88 for your base layer. And you're just going to want to apply this all over the uh, base of that area. Just get a nice even coat all the way across with the XV88. You can see I already did the uh, gun handle because it's going to be a little hard to get in there and hit that once this is done. So you might want to hit yours first as well. Like I said, you just want a nice thin coat over it, like you always do. We're probably going to have to put two thin coats over this to get it all nice, like Duncan always said. Two thin coats really is the way to go. It's better than putting on one thick coat and then realizing you put on too much paint. Don't forget to get the inside here as well. So getting it nice and even all the way around. Just getting it all the way on here. You can see I've actually uh, got a better setup now for keeping this thing centered in the camera. <laughs> the uh, white papers will hopefully help me just stay centered the whole time. Okay. Gonna let that dry for just a second. And you can see it's just nice and coated all the way over. And then it shouldn't take long to dry if you've actually got your paints thin properly. Because you can see it's already pretty much dry. So now I can go back and just put my second thin coat on. And this is why most people don't mind doing two thin coats, because if you're doing two thin ones, it should be dry pretty quick. You should not have to wait very long for it to uh, to dry up on you. But this gives us our base leather color, that nice uh, brown. <clears throat> And now the reason I haven't started doing the sword yet is because I'm going to start doing that while we're waiting for one of the washes to dry on here because we're going to have to go back and forth with some washes. <clears throat> so you can see I just got that fully coated all the way around. So you can even see it there if you're looking from the back. Now our next color is going to be uh, Kislev Flesh. And this is just going to be for um, 
highlighting and you're also going to make like if you want your leather to look worn or distressed you can leave like scratch marks and uh, divots by using the kiss love flesh <clears throat> We're just going to take the Kislev flesh and we're going to highlight the edges here. You can see I'm not overdoing it. I'm just putting a little edge on the whole thing. little regular edge highlight and actually if it's a little thick on this that's okay because on the leather it'll actually look more like a worn leather when you get done so you don't have to be perfect with these edge highlights You can make it a little sloppy. Like I said, it's going to be okay because that will actually give the leather more of a realistic look when you're done. So you want to hit the front. You want to hit the side here. And you can see it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm actually leaving these streaks. I'm not going to go back and clean them up because those streaks will give it more of a worn leather look when it's done. <clears throat> so you're just going to continue this all the way around your edge highlighting like you norm normally would edge highlight. I'll try and get that little back piece. That, that's a tough edge right there. If you, if you can't hit that one, most people won't see it, so it doesn't really matter too much. Now, I like to take with these gun holsters and put a little dash of Kislev flesh here and here. And a dash of Kislev flesh in the same direction. Well, let me get that so the camera light has it up here as well and you'll see why when we get done but then I'm just gonna make sure they blend into the same color because you just want them all to look like they're the same color going all the way across you don't want it to look like the lines just like appear out of nowhere you want them to look like the same color as the edge highlight Okay. can you see all that now see right now that looks very flat but once we start doing the, the uh, colors on top of it you'll see it'll very quickly look like um, it has a lot of depth and it won't look flat at all I have to make sure to get the whole pouch there okay see it all the way around there you can even do a little dash here if you want to you know, give it that little trigger look. <clears throat> Basically, you're just adding scratches with this kiss of flesh, aside from the uh, edge highlights. Now we let that dry for a second. And the next color we're going to be doing is we're just going to be washing it with Agrox Air Shade. And then while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to start doing the XV88 on the uh, scabbard. So we'll get to that in just a second. I want to let that Kiss Love Flesh dry enough that it's uh, going to stay on there.
Yeah, this is a it's a pretty easy technique, but it does give you a really nice looking leather when it's done. It it has a lot of uh, depth to it and really looks worn and scratched and beat up. You'll see it'll look really good on this scabbard as well. Alright, that should be dry enough. So now I'm just going to put a nice wash layer over the entire thing. Now, with washes, normally you want to, you know, you want to kind of stay where you want the wash to go. With this, you just want it to be sloppy all over that whole area. So, I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush for this and just slop Agrox or shade all over it. And like I said, you actually want a lot of Agrox or shade on this, so don't be afraid to go back and grab a little more. <laughs> Around the bottom. Around that back area. Just gonna put just a little bit more in here. All right, and now while that is drying, we're gonna just start working on the scabbard. So I'm going to take the XV88, and once again, that's your uh, your base layer. I'm just going to paint this whole scabbard this color. Going to have a nice leather scabbard. Now this one I know you guys can see better in the video because I actually have some better video quality on this one but I am also going to do what I normally do and take some pictures when I'm done so you guys can see what it actually looks like with the uh, without the movement just the natural colors remember to get the back of that scabbard And once again, you might have to do two thin coats. <laughs> I'm just going in there and hitting all the spots that scabbard is at. All right, you can see I hit a little bit of his, uh, his rear armor there, so I'm just going to go in there and touch that up a little. Oop. Drop that paint. <laughs> Don't you love when you drop things and they run all the way away? <laughs> went all the way under the table, not just a little. <laughs> uh, 
just going back with a little dark green to clean up that spot where I hit his armor. I would specify this color, but it's kind of just whatever color you need to touch up the, the color armor you have. Ooh. For me, it's, I'll just say it, for mine, it's, um, it's wog flesh, or wa flesh. Alright, so that scabbards, first layer is almost dry, so we can come back and we can hit that again with the XV88, that base layer. And then we'll be doing the same thing with the scabbard that we did with the uh, pouch, which is taking Kislev flesh and highlighting the edges and doing a few scratches here and there to give it some more depth. If you can see the the pouch starting to dry there, you can see it's starting to actually, that's why I said just let that wash pool because it's going to give it more of that leather look. Remember, leather kind of just has browns that, tinge all through in different layers so you, that's what you're trying to you know mimic so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit longer because once that one's dry we're gonna do another layer of the Agrox our shade and then I'm gonna go back with some Kislev flesh somebody had this recipe online before I can't remember who it was if somebody knows who it is please leave it in the comments um, I can't remember who put this recipe up I just remembered the recipe because it was a, a really good one and works really well and it's very few colors it's just a lot of layering and layering and layering with the uh, the washes to make it look more realistic um, so if anybody knows who that was please put it up in the comments he used these exact same colors <laughs> all right so the scabbard is starting to look pretty dry now, so we can come back with that Kislev flesh. And literally just you're you're just edging. Like I said, like you did you would do any normal edging. Only like I said with the leather you don't have to be as clean because if you leave streaks or little mistake areas, they actually look really good on the uh, the finished leather. So I'm just going to put like some streaks across here for the leather. You can even put some this way too if you want, just to kind of break it up. Or put one down that way or. You know, whatever you like. See, it's just kind of everywhere with my with that. The back end, you're not going to have to do as much highlighting because it's going to be kind of in the dark, so you don't really need to highlight as much. You can highlight this edge here if you need to, but this piece here I would not highlight because it's just gonna, it's sitting so back there in the dark that it's just gonna want to stay dark. Let me edge this to this little top part of the blade here, or the top part of the scabbard. <clears throat> okay. And actually, we can wash. <laughs> I don't want to wash them both at the same time because then we'll be, we'll be kind of in a bad spot, but. I'm going to put a little touch up of Kislev flesh here because this is starting to disconnect already and I don't want that. Like I said, you want these to look like they're connected to these sides. These scratches. And it's okay to add Kislev in between any of these layers. If you do, it's just going to add those spots brighter. 
at the end of this which once again like leather anywhere it's going to be sporadic it's not going to be as clean you don't not as stressed about it being clean see I'm even kind of muffing up that barrel there so it looks warm and beat okay So we're going to take Ag Rocks over the scabbard and literally just, like I said, just slosh it on like you were you did on this, the, uh, the gun holster there. And actually now it's time for the gun holster second layer. So same thing, just lather it on that gun holster as well. There you go, you got it there and all over the scabbard. Now we just gotta let that dry for a minute. Actually I will pull out as usual the uh, the old hair dryer technique for a minute. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it gets loud, but it does uh it does speed this process up when I'm trying to do this for videos. If I figure out how to turn the volume down while I'm doing that, I will do that in the future. But as for now, it's going to get loud for a second. As I said before with the hair dryer, if you do this technique, make sure it's on cool. And put it on high for a second. See, it dries it a lot quicker. That was real time. <laughs> uh, okay. So, now I'm going to take the Kislev flush. You guys might hear my wife in the background. She's, uh, she's now working at home. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to take Kislev Flush, and we're literally almost going to re-highlight the whole thing, except for you just want to hit mainly these corners, the thickest parts of the edges. Yeah, top's going to need a little more. I'm going to just have to wash that a little harder than the other areas. As you can see, I'm just bringing it into these areas that are the, um, like where it would wear the most. And I'm going to re-highlight the scratches again as well now. Oh, sorry, let me bring that up a little bit. Same thing on this end. You just want to hit, like I said, your corners and stuff. Let's 
So there we go, right there. So you can see, there we go. And if you can see, it's it's actually already starting to look like a very detailed, worn, beaten leather. Bring that scratch back in the back as well. All these spots where, like I said, where that it's going to be, um, where it would be hitting or beat up or scratched. That's where you're going to want to add these. You can see it's really already starting to look a little more leathery. I'll even bring it up close so you can get a real good shot of that. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to this blade here, the scabbard. <clears throat> and it is ready for its second wash of Agrox. Like I said, you don't have to be uh, gentle with the amount of agrox you use because the more sloppy and messy this is, the more realistic it looks to real leather. So you can see I'm just slopping it all over that. Once again, you want two layers of agrox before you go back to doing your... Um, your Kislev, unless you lost some, a lot more than of your Kislev than you wanted in your first wash. Okay. So now that this spot's Kislev is done, so we've done, it was XV88, then Kislev, then an Agrox wash, then another Agrox wash, then Kislev again, and now we're going to hit it with Reichlin Flesh Shade. Reiklin Flesh Shade. <laughs> and same thing, we're just going to wash that whole area. With the Reiklin. Don't forget the back. And then once that Reichland's dry, I'm going to do one more wash of um, Agrox Earthshade. And then it will get one more edging with the Kislev. And that's it. Le the leather will be done. And you'll see it'll look really good. Um, hold on. I'm going to do the hair dryer again so we can speed up this drying process. Okay, so the scabbard is now ready for its second kiss level layer. So once again, this is just highlighting, edge highlighting. Get the whole thing edge highlighted. Top, bottom, left, right. <laughs> Up, down, up, down, A, B, A, B, select, start. <laughs> I know, I didn't do the whole code. Okay. 
you can see I'm just re-edging the whole thing. I'm gonna bring those scratches back that I uh, that have started to wear out now. Now I'm gonna crisscross the ones I had on there earlier. I'm gonna do the same thing up here a little bit. Crisscross a few of these scratches. There you go. Alright, so now this pouch is getting the last layer of agrox. and I'm not going to let it sit that bad. I'm just throwing a lot on so it gives it a lot of depth. well looks like it didn't get all the way up in there there we go <laughs> camera helped me that time all right so you can see I just got it all up in there and in there and all right and now this back sword is starting to dry enough oh, I didn't get the whole edging on so you want to make sure you do have all your edging on before you do the next layer there we go that's better I did hit there a little bit but that's okay because that'll disappear when I come back and do touch-ups because that's actually a piece of the ribbon so that'll be done later when I do the ribbon but um now we're doing the Reichland layer over top of the uh, scabbard now. There we go, that's the Reichland layer. All right, and now I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer again real quick. Now for the the uh, holster here, this is literally the last piece to do. Is you're just going around and adding the lightest bit of Kislev to all the worn, the most worn spots, like where the where you've been making these scratches, all of these corners. Right there where that scratch is, right there where that scratch is. You can bring it up and down a little bit from the scratches to help the leather look like it's, you know, it's wearing in. So 
Same thing on this top piece, so you're just going to get these little corners. Around this front right here, on this edge, this little corner right here, and this little corner here. Up here as well. And this top corner on this guy. And these little back corners here as well, you want to kind of just re edge. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish up the scabbard too so you guys can see that finished as well. But then like I said, I'll take some pictures so you guys can see what it looks like up close. And what the colors are really defined with the black backdrop. I do not do any photoshopping to my photos. I hear that all the time. People saying that people photoshop their painted photos. I don't think people photoshop them. I think people are just... A little amazed at what some people can pull off. There is no photoshopping in any of my photos. So this one had its Reichlin layer. So now it's going to get the Agrox layer. Again. And this is that last Agrox layer. And then just like this piece, we're going to just come back and touch it very lightly with the Kislev in certain spots to make those scratches really defined. But you can see, let me see if I can bring it up a little closer and get you even a better shot. There you go. You can see it's got a lot of depth, like real leather. And it kind of shimmers a little bit too, like leather does in the light because of the um <clears throat> the amount of washes you put on it. <laughs> last time you guys are gonna have to hear this hair dryer. I'm just gonna dry this one last time. Alrighty. So now I'm just going to come back, like I said, with the Kislev and just re edge in some of these scratches a little bit, just the ones that you want really defined. And all these edges here. And now the great part with this technique is if it's still not making you happy, you can always just take another little bit of Agrox 
or or Reichland and pull it in some more areas to give it more depth. leather on the scabbard I'm making a little bit darker because you know it's just gonna be that worn dark dark leather when you get the colors around this it'll look really good too like once this the skull is painted in and the uh, the blade hilt and this little wrap here and the I don't know what you would call this this little point guard um, once that's all done in it'll look really really good that leather will just pop Well, aside from letting that dry, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I will take photos of this when it's completely dry and done so that you guys can get the, uh, the full shot of what it looks like. Oh. So you got to watch for stuff like that, too. It didn't want to pull under this because this little piece of um, ribbon there. There we go. Alright. And that is pretty much it. Let me dry that up with the uh, hair dryer real quick and then I will show you what it looks like. So there it is. There's the leather on the scabbard and you can see it's got like wornness and scratches and stuff. And like I said, I'm going to post pictures of this. And there is the gun holster. And this is why I do the scratches. <clears throat> right there and right there is because if you look, it looks like the gun's almost like being pinched inside the leather pouch. Which is, you know, if you actually shoved a gun in there many times, it would start to have that pinching and wear in those spaces. Um... But yeah, that's that's all there is to uh, painting leather. So um, if you like it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.